Hello and welcome to another episode of For the Records where I want to uh, just apologize to you guys. I know I haven't posted in a couple weeks, I think like three weeks now. Um, so today's video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to show you that I know that there's people out there in the vinyl community or people that uh, want to get into record collecting and I know that you may think that it's a really expensive hobby because yes certain records are expensive certain players are expensive but I'm going to show you the system that I have in my bedroom which I got off every single part of this radio pretty much I got off Facebook uh, marketplace so when you buy off like a used whatever, you know what I'm saying, like whether it's a garage sale, Facebook market, anything from just somebody used, you can usually get it fairly cheap or you can talk them down in price. Um, all these items, I never talked anybody down in price. I got a wicked good deal. Um, it all together, it makes a really nice setup and it's almost just as good as the one out in my living room. I have a Audio Technica out in my living room in my bedroom I actually have a Pioneer which is from like 1960, 1970 um, it was really cheap uh, the dust cover and everything on it was like still mint it looks like they stored it away and it never got touched after that until it got into my hands and I've taken care of it ever since I got it about a year ago and uh, I'm going to show you more. I'm going to take the camera down here in a second. I'm going to actually show you what I have. And this receiver right here, I have a Panasonic receiver. And I have uh, Sanyo uh, speakers. I probably pronounced that wrong. But all together, that is an older receiver, uh, not receiver, turntable. So it needs a phono input or you need a preamp which I have a preamp and I also have a phono input on this so I just took out the preamp and I put into this because on my other set of speakers I needed the preamp and that was my main turntable for a while. Um, this is just the one I listen to in my bedroom when I want to get away from everybody in the living room and stuff like that. Um, but it was all fairly cheap. It wasn't super expensive. I feel like anybody on a budget could afford this, especially if you're bargain buying. And just know that, like, when you do go to the store, there are really good records out there for like 20 bucks or cheaper. And if you look on Discogs and some of your favorite records are super expensive, put it on your watch list. Eventually, it will come up for the right price. It takes a while, but you will get there. I promise. Um, I remember when I first started collecting records, I'm almost probably about 120, 130 records deep now. Um, I know it might not be a lot to some of you guys out there, but from someone like me that collecting, started collecting maybe about a year or two ago, uh, I feel like I have accomplished a lot this year alone. Um, there were a lot of other things I wanted to do this year for my channel that I didn't get to do because of uh, the pandemic that happened. Um, so I'm praying that next year I will get to do some of the things that I wanted to do for my channel. But this is one of them that I planned on doing at some point. So for now, I'm going to show you exactly what I got. And then I'm going to show you, like, uh, how, I'm going to tell you how much everything cost. We'll get to that here in a second, all right? Okay, so this is my Panasonic uh, receiver. So as you can see, it's got a VCR, TV, slash DVD, tape monitor, CD, tuner, and phono input. Um, so this receiver right here, this cost me $20 on Facebook Marketplace. The only thing that was missing, and here I'll go in the back here, was this cord right here, the power cord, which I actually had like five of those laying around from other devices that I've had in the past. Um, these are the speakers that I got. This is the... Uh, that's the left channel. 
or right channel, I can't even remember to be honest. Yeah, left and then right. Um, so those speakers were $80. I didn't even try to talk them down to price because they were super clean. They look amazing and they were exactly what I wanted. Um, so first I started off with the record player and then I had my speakers out in the living room that I have. And then I got the receiver. Uh, and then I got the speakers. Actually, no, I got the turntable, the speakers, then the receiver. Once I had the receiver and I hooked everything up and I knew everything worked, and I couldn't believe um, the guy on Facebook Marketplace sold me the receiver for 20 bucks. Um, I actually had to message one of my friends because this wasn't from around where I live at. Shout out Steve-O. Thank you, Steve-O. Redneck Steve. Uh, this was on uh, Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. So I had him message the seller because I knew he lived in the same town as him. He messaged him. It, he lived right down the street from him. He went and picked it up, had it to me in the next couple days when he got into town. Super happy about that because it works really, really nice. And as you can see on the back here, I'm going to try to maneuver just a little bit. It's got plenty of inputs on it. So this one right here, that's for like the auxiliary. It's in the CD inputs for my uh, phone for when I want to listen to music off my phone. And then these ones right here, the white and the red, that's for my uh, turntable. And then it also has the ground input right above it. So it's grounded and it sounds really, really amazing. So then we're gonna go to my turntable. This is a Pioneer. As you can see, the dust cover is still really nice. And it's not all scratched up or anything like that. Um, this is Led Zeppelin's first record on here. I'm going to show you. Hold on a second if I can get it. I'm just going to lift it up just a little bit. Uh, but underneath, it's a rubber platter. And then it's this titanium. Uh, well, it's a titanium platter. But then it's got a rubber mat for it. Sorry. I know that I'm messing things up as I go along and I'm sorry that I'm not perfect but I'm trying to do this video the best I can so this Pioneer turntable and as you can see it's wood all the way around um, this was $25 so for $25 this dude came over and dropped this off at my house along with like three other turntables a bunch of tape decks um, there was eight track players, speakers, I mean, you name it, it was in there. CD players, whatever. And then most of it was like 90% of it was junk. And the only thing I was looking for was a turntable. Because at the time, I had a turntable, but it was like a $100 beginner turntable. And the toe arm um, didn't have a counterweight on it. And I couldn't adjust it. It didn't have an anti-skate. So I wanted to get one that had an anti-skate. And, um, so this one, it's got the toe arm where you can lift it up, lift it down. It plays on 33 RPM and 45 RPM. And then it has your stylus position. So, here's the thing, too. Um, the needle on there, that is an Audio Technica. It's the same one that comes with the... Audio Technica LP120. That's the reason why I bought that one. I wanted an upgradable cartridge on there. And I could buy a different one and put it on there. But that was $50. But don't mind that because even if you bought one of these for like 20 bucks or 25 bucks if you found one used, you could go on eBay and you could find. A cheaper Audio Technica cartridge. There's like the twenty dollar ones, and sometimes they're cheaper than twenty dollars. And then the belt was also broken on the inside that I took out, and I had to clean the inside a little bit. I bought the proper belt for it, which was like ten dollars and some change. But realistically, I had a rubber band around it first that I've had kicking around, like a really big thick rubber band, and that worked fine. So, when you move the toe arm, you know, it just starts playing, and then it has the auto return. 
So I'm going to play a snippet of this just to show you guys that it, how good it sounds and how it works. And I know you know how a turntable works, but... Try not to get a counter strike on this. You hit the button, and then it brings the toe arm back, and it stops the player. Um, I think it sounds really good. It's got two 10-inch uh, subwoofers, and then I got my mid-range and my tweeters. Um, and then I also got this. Um, and then one of the other things I did buy after I bought my speakers was I bought some speaker wire. Um, for whatever reason, house speaker wire, because I just went to Walmart and bought this. This was cheaper in the audio section of the cars than the household stuff. The household stuff was like 20 something dollars. I think this was like 10 bucks. And this is an, and it actually came with more and thicker wire so this is 14 gauge speaker wire 50 feet um this was cheaper than buying like less cord for like a home stereo and i feel that it worked just as good because speaker wire speaker wire i don't really care i'm not going to argue with anybody you can say that it's different and that it's not the same thing but to me it is the same thing it sounds just as good as if i were to have other speaker wire because actually technically on this one as you can see down there, I have two different speaker wire. I have the 14 gauge, and then I have this one right here, which was the one that I had kicking around from um, my house. And I use that one because that's the speaker wire I used to have a bunch of, but I don't anymore. So, that's my uh, stereo in my bedroom. All together, it cost me 125 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. Could have easily put maybe... 10 20 bucks into it and had it all working but i spent about 80 more dollars and got it you know working working really well and i really like the cartridge on that um i used to have a white audio technica cartridge on my last turntable which worked fine and i thought it sounded great which those are like 20 bucks or cheaper on ebay so i mean if anybody out there you're looking for a good stereo system check the facebook marketplace it took me a long time not a long time but like a year to find these set of speakers and i've seen them where they give away free stuff too and i had uh one listing i saw where they were giving away audiophile speakers and i was too late on sending the thing to get them so you know what i mean i messaged them they said it was already pending somebody was already coming to pick them up so and then they even did come with the guards for the speakers, but I took them off because I wanted to show you guys uh, how they looked without it because I feel like they look really, really nice. I like them. Like I said, I only paid 80 bucks for them. I figured that was a good deal. I don't know how much like normally speakers go for like that, but for the ones in my living room, my Samsung's, which also has the receiver in the speaker itself they're powered speakers uh those cost me like 500 bucks they sound really really nice they got i think like eight inch woofers or maybe six inch i don't know they're smaller speakers but they stand taller and they sound really really good and they sound just as good as these if not better it's hard to say which stereo sounds better because this is all old tech as you can see you know like vcr phone oh cd you know who has a vcr anymore these days i know a couple people but and it's even got like the big headphone jack the speakers um tuner you know what i mean they're playing two on an in rock um tape monitor tv you know all that good stuff and then i love this part because it actually has the bass and the treble on it and then I can change what speakers coming out but I don't want to get a copyright strike so uh, yeah that's my setup subscribe to my page 
I'm going to be putting out more cool videos like this. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay safe. Um, yeah. And uh, definitely uh, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I want to be able to uh, do this as a full-time job someday and make more great videos and do other things. But... I need you guys to subscribe first before I can start doing that because I've been putting my own money and my own time into this plus working 65 hours. And I'm sorry that I haven't posted a video in the last couple weeks. Uh, be tuned. I actually have a couple really good uh, videos coming up soon. And I just want you guys to know that, uh, yeah, I'm going to switch this over if I can. Um, that, uh, you know, it will be good. And, uh, you know, i got some really cool videos coming in the future. Alright, guys? I hope you like my stereo system. I enjoy it a lot. And I hope you guys out there, it will give you the incentive to check your Facebook marketplace, to check where you live at, check your yard sales, and get some cool stuff for, you know, a cheap price. Because, I mean, you never know. Somebody could just sell you a nicer pair of speakers than these for 20 bucks just because they want to get rid of them. They just want something for them, you know? They, don't, they might not necessarily want to just give them away. But um, for anybody out there that's looking to buy a system that thinks they got to spend a ton of money, you don't have to do that, okay? So just I hope that you stick with spinning some records and, you know, listen to some vinyl because it does sound amazing. I do love the sound of it. I like having physical media. I like being able to hold the actual record in my hand, look at it, see it, you know, like this is Led Zeppelin, this is one of my favorite Led Zeppelin albums right here, I love that I own it, um, and I just like to own my music, it's not that I don't like to listen to my music on my phone, because I do every once in a while, it just doesn't sound the same, and certain mp3 files sound compressed, where if I listen to it on vinyl, it doesn't sound compressed, it sounds the way it's supposed to. And, you know, I just like it better that way. And I know I keep rambling on, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay safe. And, uh, yeah, keep spinning vinyl. Peace.